Hi everybody, hope you are fans click on my channel. A couple of things, if you want to give it a thumbs up at the end of the video, that would be most appreciated. And if you've got any comments to make, just pop them in the comment section down below. And if you want to smash that subscription button and look at some other videos on the channel, uh, that would be also very much appreciated. Uh, so what are we talking about today? So as you may know, or not know as the case may be, I have a 2017 Honda Africa Twin. I purchased it in 2019 with 5,000 miles on the clock and it's December the 10th today, 2021 and the current mileage is about 11,000 miles so I've put about 6,000 miles on the clock. Uh, it's mostly a dry weather bike, sits in the garage uh, when I'm not using it uh, so it doesn't see much in the way of uh, rain. Uh, since I've had the bike for uh, two years now, every now and again when I come to start it, it will start very quickly and then stop. So obviously a little bit of uh, internet research has shown that it's a known problem, this start-stop thing, um, which is basically caused by some kind of carbon stuff on the switch inside the uh, start-stop switch um, floating around and causing some kind of arcing, uh, which causes the motor uh, not to start. Some people indeed uh, rev it to about 6,000 revs uh, once they've started it to stop the, uh, the bike uh, engine stopping. So what I thought I'd do today, as it's a terrible day outside, wet and windy, uh, not quite in the middle of December. I thought I would dismantle the uh, start stop switch. So folks, what do we need to do this? Uh, we need a socket set with an eight mil socket. That's purely to take off the brake reservoir uh, bracket so you can gain access to two screws, which are, let's have a look if I can uh, show you any video of that. Obviously I've got my uh, Bart Buster's hand guards on. Don't have to actually uh, remove those at all, but we've got a, I can't get in there folks. There's a screw at the uh, uh, here. And then if I get under here as well, you can see that. Don't know if it's gonna pick that up on the camera. Uh, there's a screw there as well. Other thing I've done, uh, if, <laughs> if you're like me, uh, tend to drop things, just put a, uh, a towel or a blanket over the tank uh, to stop you um, uh, scratching things if you uh, if you've got slippery fingers like me so there we go we're taking the two eight millimeter bolts out taking the um, bracket off and then that just allows us to reposition the brake reservoir out of the way to give us access to the screw heads on the uh, rear of the start stop unit so all we've got to do now is just reposition the uh, brake reservoir out of the way and then gain access to the uh, two screws at the back of the housing Obviously, if your Bart Buster handguards get in the way, you might just have to uh, reposition those handguards to give you access to the bottom screw. But that's the bottom screw is out now. And that's the length of the screw. So, what are they? Were they about three quarters of an inch? And just pop them somewhere safe. So that's the screws out, although the top screw is still there. And then all I need to do is just, uh, obviously I've got heated grips on mine, so just carefully uh, move the switch unit and then just there we go so there's the switch unit and that's what we need to clean inside so i'm going to have a quick look and then i'll get back to you and let you know what i'm going to do so there you go folks this is the uh, start stop switch i've taken the two screws out which are in uh, here and here which just hold it in and this is, um, I've taken that spring off as well, but if you, if the spring pops off accidentally, uh, that's how it sits. And basically uh, when you start it, that's how it gets uh, pushed back to the return position. <laughs> you can see it's just popped off, but that's how it fits anyway. Don't you just love it when things like that happen? So I found the spring on the floor, I refitted the spring. That's why I thought I'd put the uh, location of the spring there in case the same thing happens to you guys. Um, so the spring's back on now. So what I'm going to do is use uh, my motorbike dryer just to blow some air through the switching unit and then give it a blast of um, a brake cleaner and then another blast from the uh, motorbike dryer and then finally use some ACF 50, which is a dielectric uh, spray. Um, obviously, everybody knows about ACF 50, but it is dielectric, so we're going to allow electricity to flow through it. But obviously, just relying on the metal contacts to break any film that will be uh, in the switch. Hopefully, that's going to work. Uh, and then put it all back together and then hopefully uh, Bob is your uncle or whatever you want to call it and then hopefully it'll start first time. So let's uh, give it a, a blast of air 
uh, blast of brake cleaner, blast of air, and then finally some ACF 50. Now use some brake cleaner. And then once it's all dry, some good old ACF 50 or WD 40, but I'm going to use ACF 50. Uh, spray onto the paintbrush and then just dab it around the uh, switch. Once that's all done, I'm going to give it a bit of a dry and then put it all back together. And then that's it, and we'll see if it starts. So I've got those two little screws there. And so that's all good. Just pop the switch back in there. Just make sure it works and then just reassemble it and let's see if the bike starts first time. And then put the brake reservoir bracket back on and see if the old girl will start up first time. So that's everything put back together. So we've got the uh, switches uh, secure and the brake reservoirs is now secure and the torque settings are, I don't know what they are, but I'll uh, find out and put them on the, on the, um, uh, here somewhere. And let's see if it starts. Right then, let's see if this bike is gonna start. Again. Third time lucky. Oops. And fourth time lucky. So that's it folks, hope you liked the video. Uh, I would say it's a 15 minute job, um, but it's taken me about an hour uh, with having to you know, have a look at the spring and how things come apart and everything. Um, but yeah, it certainly solved my problem and I'd recommend it if you've got an Africa twin and you've been experiencing those problems of, uh, of the bike starting and then immediately stopping once you've uh, released the start stop switch. Uh, but yeah, as you can see from the video, uh, it starts fine now. So uh, I should have done it um, last year, but never got around to it. So 15 minutes it will take you to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it's been of some benefit to you folks out there. And again, please give it a thumbs up or make any comments in the comment section down below. Uh, that's it. Uh, ride safe and see you again in the next video. Take care for now.